All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I'm in the Tesla Model 3. Just got this car not even a week ago. Tomorrow would be a week. But anyways, tinted the windows already. I live in Florida. It's extremely hot, extremely humid. These panoramic windows, they look cool, but in reality, they just heat up the inside of the car so much. So I got 15% all around. The only thing that is not 15% is the windshield strip. It's 5%. But whatever. I think they only do 5% at the place I went to for that. Or at least that's what they told me. But anyways, 15% all around. The panoramic window is going to look a bit darker because it does come with a factory tint. So adding the 15% over the factory tint just makes it even darker, which is what I wanted because that's probably what contributes to the most heat entering the car because the sun is just going straight through that thing. Very happy with the 15% all around. I know different cities, different states, different rules when it comes to the tent here in Orlando. I mean, as long as you're not going 5%, I don't know if you can go darker than 5%. As long as you're not doing that, then you should be fine. They don't really go crazy for stuff like that. If they pull you over for a different reason and they want to mess with you, then they can look through the tent and be like, you know what, yeah, let's just, let's just mess with him with the tent too. But anyways, really loving the tent. Here is the tent from the inside of the car. As you can see, this is 15%. And let's see if we go up. See that? See how that 15% is different from this one? This has the factory tent with the 15% over and then the windows that do not have factory tent just have 15% so as you can see your daytime is perfect you can see clear nighttime you could see but mm, yeah sometimes you I, I catch myself putting the window down because I mean you can see cars it's just like if someone's walking across the street and you're about to enter like a neighborhood or something like you don't want to just go with the acceleration boost flying into the neighborhood, you you, you know you want to see, make sure nobody's crossing the street. So, I catch myself putting the window down just to be safe because you know you never want to risk something like that. That's just uh, something you don't want to do. But what do you guys think about the fifteen percent? Do you think I went too dark? Do you think I should have went lighter? I've always loved fifteen percent. Every car I've owned, well, not every car, but most of the cars I've owned, I get a fifteen percent tint all around. It's dark, it's nice, not too dark. If you wanna to go too dark, go with the 5%. But I think 15% is the sweet spot because you can still see through during the day. At night, it's very hard to see through, but I'm not worried about night, nobody cares, right? Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about the 15%. Did I go too dark or did I go just right? I was worried about doing the 15% on the panoramic windows because I didn't want it to look like pitch black, but I think it looks good. You still see through at night i mean it's really dark but i'm the one driving so i'm not driving like looking up so it's just living in florida man i had to do it i'm sorry i just had to a part of me was like damn maybe i should do five percent on top but i was like damn that's a d so yeah went with the 15s i love it Ooh, got the gird i love it no regrets if you want to test the model three what percent tint did you go with? If you're about to own a Tesla Model 3, what percent would you go with? Like I said, I understand every city, every state, whatever, they do have different rules. Some places are more strict about it than others. Like I said, I'm in Orlando. They don't really trip over stuff like that. If they pull you over for speeding or you're just doing something dumb, they would probably mess with you when it comes to something like that but you would have to get pulled over for something else. It's rare that they would actually pull you over just for that. Uh, but anyways, guys, just wanted to go over that. It's something that I've searched on YouTube, so I figure, hey, let me just add to that. Let me add to the YouTube search for Tesla tents. Oh, and also this is a ceramic tent. So the ceramic tent is good for uh, heat. Because I've seen Reddit articles where they're like, oh, if you go 15% on the top, it could crack the windshield. It's very sensitive. I believe if you go with a cheaper tint, if you're just going for the look and you're not going ceramic, then I could see that happening. Because the cheaper tint, I guess, absorbs the heat. It takes in more heat versus kind of like 
letting it bounce off which is what the ceramic does if i'm not mistaken that's why it's more expensive so long story short if you're going to tint your tesla go with the ceramic pay the extra hundred dollars whatever it costs whoever you're going to whatever they charge pay the extra because this is your car man you pay good money for a tesla you spend a lot of time in the tesla you don't want it to be scorching hot in your tesla so just pay the extra get the ceramic you'll thank yourself later your car will thank you that's my word of advice almost forgot to go over the ceramic that that's a big one but do your own research and like i said i don't know what the rules are as far as tent but uh I'm just talking specifically panoramic, top window, back window. I did the 15%, no regrets. But yeah, just wanted to get that out the way. We'll be doing more videos on the Tesla, and of course, you know, I do my NBA content, my clothing reviews. But uh, just leading up to me buying the car. Oh my God, I'm sweating now. Leading up to me buying the car. I've searched a crap ton of Tesla videos, wanted to learn, educate myself. Should I get the standard range plus? Should I get the long range? Should I get the performance? Should I even get a Model 3? Should I get a Y? Just a lot of information, especially coming from a gas vehicle. You want to make sure you're making the correct decision. These cars aren't cheap. Even the used ones aren't cheap, although they are the cheapest they've been, I believe, ever. That's why I got mine. Mine is not brand new. Mine is used. 2022 Long Range Model 3. So if you're thinking about jumping the gun, if you're thinking about jumping into the EV world, I highly recommend Tesla due to the superchargers, due to the constant software updates, due to the quick acceleration I bought mine directly from Tesla. You can also get it from a third party, Carvana, CarMax, or just a local dealer. The prices weren't that different, so that's why I went with just getting it straight from Tesla. And it comes with like a 10,000 mile used car warranty. And you could also add an extra warranty, I believe depending on how many miles your car came with. Mine came with 26,000. So I have the original warranty from the original owner that ends next year. July and I believe I could also upgrade to get an extended warranty but I don't I don't know it's like 2000 bucks I don't think I want to do that I think I might just keep that 2000 for myself but anyways I'm rambling on Tesla Model 3 15% tint all around 5% window strip in the front let me know what you guys think like comment subscribe more videos on the way I appreciate y'all for watching and, and, and I'm gonna holla at y'all later peace